show you how you can easily change the time created of a video or photo or any file really it works you can also do the date modified but I'm just doing the date created and the reason why is because I am exporting videos from photos on the Apple and when I export them from photos it does not keep the time information it keeps the time that I exported them or actually sometimes it's not even accurate as you can see some of these um, are showing up as like 2 a.m. which I certainly didn't export them at 2 a.m. so I don't know why their timestamp is wrong but you can see right here the one that I have highlighted um, it says that it was created on June 27th uh, at 2 14 a.m. but it was not as you can see I have it open over here on the left in an app called any file info which I will link to in the description below and you can see that it says that the encoded date was June 25th at 16.09 and that would be 6, 5, 4, 4 o'clock in the afternoon and then if you, uh, uh, which is which would be UTC time, okay, I'm in central time. So you'll notice down here it says Apple Quick Time and its time was 11.09. So I just wanted to make sure that those two were correct. So I basically did a search. UTC 16.09 ends up at 11.09 a.m., which was 11.09 a.m. So I just verified that. Uh, sometimes the this time up here is not correct, so I was basically trying to figure out which one is accurate. So this QuickTime time is the initial time that the QuickTime file was originally made. Okay, so what you do that, that's just the any file info, but the one that you actually want to edit it with is called file date modifier. I figured out if you change the time that you want to change it first, so you can see I've already done some on June 25th, and then the time should be 11.09, you can just hit tab, you can go over even to the seconds, 09, uh, no, 50, that should be 50. 11.09.50, so I'm matching this time up here, 11.09.50, 11.09.50 p.m. I'm changing the created date and the created time. And then you just take the file, which is in Finder, and you just drag it in there, and you'll notice the time just changed. So now it's June 25th at 11.09 p.m. And now I'm doing that with all of these files because all of my GoPro files are on the correct time, and all my exported video files from photos are not correct. So I'm going through and doing all that manually. Um, but now when I go to drag them into Final Cut Pro, they will all be in the exact correct order and I don't have to rearrange them. Hopefully that helps. And again, just check the description below for the files and the downloads.